Hello, today I will be showing you how to make tape. This is a revised version of my older video. Okay, first you need to go to File, New, Create a New Document, 500 by 500. Click OK. Now, you need to dye it. Actually, you need to select it and just delete that. Now make a new layer that is transparent like I just did and take your rectangular select tool and make a box like this center it in the middle of your screen about and fill it in with white using the bucket tool okay now go to the free select tool and zoom in after you select a nine and take away parts of the white you think should be taped, like where you ripped it. Like kind of like a mountain looking things, like what a kid in a micro. Okay, and just select it. And you can delete that. And you've got your tape edge. Yes, this is kind of rough. To fix that, you take, you select none, and you take a fuzzy brush, and just kind of go at the edges, just barely, not much. This just smooths it up, so not that it's ne it's not necessary, but it's optional. Okay, now that you've got your rough tape edges, you can zoom back out, and it looks somewhat like this. Now you need to copy this and paste it, it and make a new layer. Now you can use your flip tool and flip it, take the move tool and move it to your likings. I like it right there. And you can merge these two down There's, or you can just click new from visible. Now you've got your new bit layer from visible and just delete the bottom too. And so now what you want to do is you want to make it duplicate that layer. Go to your bottom layer. Go filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Wait for this to pop up. And blur it by around, depending on your size. Ah, way too high. Let's try two. Let's see how that looks. Mm, we'll do it about three. And you see you get this blurry looking effect. Now take your top layer and turn on the opacity about that there and turn on the other something. Almost away. Okay, hide that, make sure your opacity is looking pretty well. The image. And turn this one quite a bit too. And why not? Sixty. And about on this one, we do 65. Okay, so now I know you can kind of see through this kind of, and you kind of can't. So turn down this and show it now. It will change whenever you save it. And if you want to use it as a brush, I will show you how in a later tutorial. In my brush tutorial, I will make later. So. Yeah, I merge those down. I'm just going to move this to the center. I'm going to take my crop tool, select around it, make the layer a little bit smaller. Okay. There, now I've got a much smaller layer. And this has been the GIMP Tutor. And thanks for watching, YouTube. Bye.